Romans 8, verse 38 and 39. And the Bible reads, And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below, indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. This is an important passage of Scripture for several reasons. When life gets hard, remember that nothing can separate us from the love of God. When we feel persecuted, when we're rejected by the world, always remember that nothing can separate us from the love of God. When you're under attack, when you're under siege, and it feels as though Satan and his army are out to bring you down, remember that nothing can separate us from the love of God. And let me tell you that there will be days where we feel as though you are alone. But remember that your feelings will lie to you. However, God's word never lies. And so be convinced, be persuaded, in fact, that nothing can separate us from God's love. Dear friends, we have a God that loves us more than we will ever know, and He has given us His grace for this journey of life. God has shown us mercy, and we need to be thankful. He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, all because of love. Saints, God has accepted us and adopted us as His own. Nothing can separate us from the love of God. And I believe that David must have known this promise because in Psalm 138, verse 2, it says, I will worship toward your holy temple and praise your name for your loving kindness and your truth. For you have magnified your word above all your name. Let me tell you something. God is truth. The Bible says, God is not a man that he should lie. The Bible asks the question, has he ever promised and not carried it through? Saints, the only time we are at a loss, the only time we are at a disadvantage is when we choose not to trust in the Lord. His faithfulness should be the reason we remain strong as believers. Hebrews 4 verse 13 says, And there is no creature hidden from his sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. We should strive to abide in God's presence always. The presence of the Lord is powerful because when you are in his presence, there is nothing we can hide in the presence of God. There is no sin, no secret, no unclean thought or selfish intention can be hidden from the Lord. In God's presence, you can be liberated, you can be at peace, and you can find rest. Let us pray. Holy Father, we thank you for making yourself freely available to us. We need your presence to be with us, Lord, because in your presence we have protection, we are renewed, and we are revived in our spirits. Your word in Jeremiah 29 verse 13 says, And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. If we seek you wholeheartedly, we will find you. We thank you, Lord, that there are no special words we have to say. Thank you that there are no special rituals we have to perform in order to usher in your presence. We don't have to perform good works to capture your attention, but we only need to seek you wholeheartedly and we will find you. 
Lord Jesus, I welcome your presence into my life. Without you, there is no life. There is no hope or healing. But your presence alone, Lord, your presence can transform, your presence can heal and restore. Your presence, Lord Jesus, can renew and revive. And so we need you in our lives. Your word in John 15, verse 5 says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. May we abide in you always, Lord. Make us more aware of your presence, Father. In those moments when we feel far from you, Remind us that you have never once abandoned us as your children, and you never will. When we are distressed, we only have to cry out the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ, and things will begin to change. With your divine protection, Holy Spirit, penetrate our hearts in a radical way. Consume our lives in such a way that everyone around us can see the change within us, all for the glory of Jesus Christ. May we be soaked in your presence, Lord. Shift the atmosphere in our homes. Let us be so enveloped by your presence, Lord, that every hidden spirit of negativity and hopelessness will be driven out in Jesus' name. Father, where there is darkness, bring light. Where there is anger, bring peace. Where there is pain, bring healing. Speak and minister to every broken heart and surround the poor in spirit with love and comfort. May your presence change us, strengthen us, and bring love into our homes soften our hearts, Lord, so that we may answer your call quickly. May the Holy Spirit convict us until we surrender to your sweet, redemptive power. I pray for every person under the sound of my voice. May your presence mend broken relationships and heal hurting families. Father, you cover every offense with a blanket of love. You bring reconciliation when no one else can. Watch over our souls and take care of our burdens. Father, I desire nothing less than the full power of your holy presence revealed in my life and in this world. If you can bring the dead to life, there is nothing you can't do. No miracle is too hard for you. So right now, I welcome you to come and have your way in my life. I invite you to take control. Your presence is the answer to every problem in this fallen world. Lord, I believe you are able to accomplish all of these things and so much more. Thank you for hearing my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.